Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. It's Patty from ultraslowrunner.com. Today's video is actually the first of a series of videos documenting my journey or the road to the Ure 50 miler in Ure, Colorado. It runs through the San Juan Mountains. The challenge for me is not that it's 50 miles. I've done that a number of times, but the real challenge is the elevation gain in the race. It's about 23,000 feet and I've not come close to that uh, so far in my years of running. So that's primarily going to be a big challenge. Also, it's at elevation, so it'll be high altitude running for me and I'm coming from the relatively flat Pacific Northwest. So one of the things that really drew me to the race really was that it's a very low key event. Um, I've actually never heard anybody talk about the race and there's not a lot on YouTube about it and things like that. And that's one of the reasons that brought me to the race in the first place. Also, I do like to choose races where there is a bit of doubt, uh, at least that as one of the elements in the race. For some reason that adds an extra challenge for me and makes me want to work very hard in training to get over that doubt and accomplish the race. And for this race, there's a lot of, a lot of doubt. So that's another reason that I chose this race. Some may ask, um, I plan to run the race in 2021. So it is quite a ways away. The, the race takes place in late July. So I do have to run a qualifying race before that. So I'm hoping to be able to do that this summer or early fall in a, in a race and then be able to run the 50 miler next July. July 2021, to be clear. Some people may ask, well, why are you training now? Uh, it's 15 months away. Well, there's a number of reasons. First, um, right now, presently, I'm not in tip top shape, so I still need to build up. And also, um, there's a lot of things I want to accomplish before the race. There's um, strength training and um, I need to work on my balance issues. I talked about that in the Bigfoot video and just some little things like that that I really want to accomplish and make better before the race because I know I'm going to need pretty much everything in my arsenal to be able to complete the race. But that's what bucket list races are all about. So I'm going to end the video here, um, but come along with us and follow me in my journey. I'm really, really excited. And um, primarily the first bit will be about accomplishing, accomplish, um, accomplishing my qualifying race. Uh, that's gonna be the first major step. So I'm really hoping that we'll be able to run races again very soon, at least maybe late summer, early fall. So that's what I'm really hoping for. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to follow this journey. And also if you want more content uh, like this. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.